Oh, hey, how's it going, Pipers? It's your old boy Sasquatch Piper here again. Today, we're really analyzing another tobacco. Um, not my normal thing again, but two days in a row, why not? Why am I doing this? Well, because it's hot day! Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I want you to stay positive, feel positive, be positive, reflect on positive, exuberate positive, and expel positive. But the 1792 flake that I had yesterday afternoon made me want to try the club, club, the cob plug today. So that's what we're doing. And we got it in the old cherry wood shape. However, I'm told by Sir Uncle Willie that it's the same blend in a different form. So that can obviously change things the way they prepare it and cure it or whatever to make it a, a full on plug versus a flake. As you've seen from my review on that, I was all over the place. And it's a very complex tobacco, so I think I had that right. However, let me tell you. They are nothing alike to me. I don't get that explosion of flavor from this. Now, granted, I did brush my teeth this morning for once. <laughs> no, but I know that brushing your teeth, anything you do different can change a tobacco. It can complement it. It can take away from it. But, for me, the 1792 was so unique, I wouldn't miss it in this. There's a little bit, I mean, vaguely some similarity in there. Maybe a tiny bit. But I'm going to say, hump day! That uh, this, to me tastes more like an English. Now, I still really haven't done my research on the 70, 1792 or this at all. Except for what the UW told me. I would almost say I'm not familiar with the Tonquin bean or Tonka bean. I'm guessing that's where a lot of the interesting flavors I was getting out of the 1792 Flake was coming from. I almost don't taste that at all in this. This reminds me of an English. A very mild... Uh, I don't want to say it does, it's ghosting me or it doesn't have flavor because it's there. There is flavor. There's, I'll say there's a little bit of tanginess there that is the similarity. It's not bitter, a bitter tang either. So that's good because I don't like bitter. But 
I did just brush my teeth. I am sipping coffee, but I, I'm giving this, you know, good thought. And in comparison, it, uh, not near as spicy and being that first thing in the morning, I would notice that even more. And I know a different pipe can give you different notes. I mean, you figure I'm, I'm 10 minutes, a good 10 minutes into this bowl now. And I'm barely getting familiar, familiarities to the 1792, but it is vague. This, I, I, like I said, English, but I'm gonna have to say that this is a good breakfast blend per se, that a good morning smoke, you know, mild, not overly, and that's what English is, or for me, are good. But you know, you're drinking a strong cup of coffee, or you know, you just brushed brushed your doofuses, and don't get me wrong, I I don't know if I like it as much as the 1792. But I do like it because I, I do like a good English blend. I like the complexity and the explosion of flavor in the 1792 flake a lot. This is turned way down in comparison. I'm gonna have to give this one some more thought you know, smoke it later in the day. Um, but I'm confident that it's not going to change for me. Uh, zero disappointment, though. I'm just, just overanalyzing it, trying to compare it to the 1792. And it, it there, there's no, to me, there's no comparison. It's To me, it's like smoking two different blends, honestly. This is milder, lighter on the palate, and, uh, but I like it. I, I really do, I really do like it, but it's totally different to me. I mean, completely different. I If I didn't know that they were the same blend, in a sense, if nobody had told me, I wouldn't have never even put them in the same category. But I do like it. And with that said, I'm going to have to bid you all a farewell and a happy hump day! <laughs> Woo! It's hump day. Let's do this, man. I'm ready. Let me get on some of this coffee. Oh yeah, I put some of that cocoa sugar-free creamer, chocolate sugar-free creamer. So it's like sipping hot cocoa, honestly. It goes good with this in the morning. Anyways, have a fantastic hump day. Sasquatch Piper out. <laughs>